Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now today's video is going to be yet another tech experiment and this is going to be a follow-up to my Microshaft Windblows 98 video which I did earlier this week and when I uploaded that video a couple of comments, well more than a couple of comments came in asking me to try to run Microshaft Windblows 98 on Windows 10 which is kind of a theme on this channel. Typically whenever I do a video of some older piece of software a lot of you guys want to see that running on Windows 10. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be seeing if we can run this program released in 1997 on the latest version of Windows 10. So we're going to jump right into it. I've got the disk inserted into the uh, virtual machine's virtual disk drive right now. We're going to run the auto run executable and see if we can install it. Now from what I understand this is a 32-bit program, at least it should be. So we're going to just click on run look for.exe and which then runs setup.exe and yep check it out microsoft windblows 98 a cd-rom parody or a parody on cd-rom and here it is so yes because this is a 32-bit program we don't have to use otvdm because yes we are using a 64-bit version of windows so we're going to go ahead and go through the installation process here and just install it to the default folder and this is going to where it's okay so these are the system requirements here so we need which we took a look at this in the last video as well we need to have a windows 95 pc with a 66 megahertz 486 processor and 16 megabytes of ram and 20 megabytes of free hard disk space which we definitely have all three of those things we've got way more than that so we'll click on next uh, yeah, sure, we're going to register it online, and so this is where this browser setup thing is going to come up again, where it basically comes up and says, oh, you can use uh, either Internet Explorer 3.0 or Netscape Navigator 3.0. Now, it says and later, but we had Internet Explorer 6.0 installed on that Windows 95 or Windows 98 virtual machine, and it didn't work. It said that it couldn't find a compatible version of the browser, so it's more than likely going to do that exact same thing here, because yes, even though Windows 10 comes with Microsoft Edge, it still includes Internet Explorer. We can launch it by typing iExplorer uh, at the run prompt here and it will open up Internet Explorer. I believe it's version 11. I want to say version 11. Let's just verify that here. Go into settings and go well, the about option is grayed out. I guess it's still starting up here. It looks like Internet Explorer is not responding. What a surprise. That <laughs> good old Internet Explorer. Um, so I just realized the virtual machine is not connected to a network. So we, I, I've just connected it to my, uh, my host computer's network adapter. So we'll just say no here. And, uh, yeah, apparently opening up Internet Explorer has like <laughs> almost frozen the entire system. Oh my gosh, this is like... So right off the bat, it's going to ask us to download Microsoft Edge. Well, I just want to go to About here to see what... Oh my gosh, why can't we see the About page? Stop script. Microsoft.com is not respond. Okay, so the whole browser just crashed. Well, I'm pretty sure it's like version, <laughs> version 9, 10, or 11, one of those versions. But anyway, it doesn't find it in here. Normally, it would show if it had a compatible browser version, it would show it in here. You could click on it and then click on next. We don't have that, so uh, we're not going to be able to install this. So yeah, even though it says IE 3.0 and later, it doesn't... Uh, find it although i just thought of an idea it said netscape navigator 3.0 we were able to install netscape navigator on, on windows 10 so let's try to install netscape navigator on this virtual machine and see if it can maybe find that let me go ahead and do that really quick so great news everybody that did work it was able to find netscape this is version 3.0 that i installed uh oh this is from when i was trying to install it back here we can just close out of that because it's already installed so perfect so it shows up here we're going to click on next and it says congratulations browser setup has successfully configured the following browser for use with this program so what this should allow us to do is launch the internet exploiter portion of the game from within microsoft windblows and we'll be able to see what that uh, what that's all about First, though, we're going to have to run the game itself. So in the start menu here, it has created a new folder. If we go down to the M's here, here's Microshaft, and here is Microshaft right here. So we're going to launch this, and we'll see if it launches. And, oh, problem opening. Uh, there's She's trying to open something in the temp directory, negative 34. Although it looks like it's still launching here. Oh, check that out. Okay, so we're going to not change the color settings or anything. Oh, do I have the sound muted? Because it's supposed to be playing sound right now. We're going to type in our name again. Let's do Michael. 
Okay, so we get that same error message here, but we can click OK and we'll see if it just goes into the introduction video. So it's trying, okay, so there is apparently some 16-bit components to this program. It was trying to launch smkdshlp.exe because this is, again, a 64-bit version of Windows. All right. But we get the video here, so we can just skip that. And here's the little intro video. So obviously we already took a look at all of this in the main video. So if you really want to see like a, a full in-depth look at this program, I'd recommend checking out the hey, original Meg? video. I'm going to go ahead and mute the, I'm going to mute the VM's audio right now because as I said in the, in the full video, they constantly come up every five seconds if you don't like i'm sitting here talking to you guys for like five seconds and see they like went away and they came back up again i mean this is what they do it is so annoying but they just constantly bug you until you click something on the screen but the main thing that i'm interested in is internet exploiter we can click on this it comes up with this prompt it says admin if your browser requires you to manually dial up your service provider, do so now, then return to this box and click OK. We'll just click OK so we don't have to do that. Cannot copy plugin, please reinstall your browser. Well, okay, that's kind of unfortunate. We got this, I guess it's like a thinking cursor there. It's like a face, yeah, the, if you weren't able to tell the cursors will kind of be changed to that, like this angry face, I think is the default cursor. So, and it changed to that thinking face i guess when it was trying to load something so you can see it kind of changing there uh, when it was loading there another video from them believe it or not <laughs> it's crazy but yeah so that's what happens when you try to load internet exploiter so it just says cannot copy plugin please reinstall your browser now this is a fully working copy of netscape navigator like if i go into file explorer here i can go into this pc local disk c it's under program files x86 i believe Maybe it's under, maybe it's under program files. I believe it actually, yes, yeah, under program files, navigator. And here it's under program, Netscape, here it is. And this is a 32-bit a program as well. So it's not like it's trying to load a 16-bit a program, which it would prompt us like it did for that other, whatever component that was that was trying to load. So, but yeah, so that is unfortunate. It says, cannot copy plugin, please reinstall your, your browser. Um, I do want to address very, very briefly why it is that I'm using a 64-bit version of Windows for these type of experiments because on the last, I think it was the software video or w whatever tech experiment that we did last on this channel, um, I got a lot of comments saying, why are you using a 64-bit version of Windows when these are 16-bit applications, you should use a 32-bit version of Windows. Well, here's the thing. I have used both 32-bit and 64-bit versions of Windows 10 to do these experiments. And no matter which version I choose, I get people telling me to use the other version. If I use the 32-bit version, which I've done in previous videos, people have told me use the 64-bit version because that's what most people use today. And if they wanted to try this themselves at home, it would make more sense to use a 64-bit version to demonstrate. So this is like a thing where I can't really win either way. I'm, I'm going to get people commenting no matter which version that I use. So I just use the 64-bit version because I had the virtual machine installed. Maybe I'll do like a poll or something. Actually, oh no, you can't because YouTube removed the freaking polls feature for YouTube cards. Yeah, thanks YouTube for uh, getting rid of yet another feature that <laughs> is kind of useful to have. So yeah, you used to be able to add polls to your videos through YouTube cards. You can't do that no more. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll throw up a poll over on Twitter shortly after this video goes live i'll have the link to it down below and if you guys want to vote on this like which which version i should use for these videos 32-bit or 64-bit go over there and uh and vote and i will use whatever version that that gets the most votes because that's just yeah that's just the best way to decide this once and for all but to answer the question can you run microsoft wind blows on windows 10 the answer is yes it does work 100% we can launch it here. Let's, let's say that I want to launch Win Bill Gates' Money, one of the games, or the games contained within the Microsoft Windblows game itself. Here it is. We can come up and answer these questions. We're just going to exit out of this because I don't really want to go through this again. We'll just go back to the desktop. But yeah, the program works, and yeah, it looks like our uh, virtual Bill Gates is going to die of money starvation once again. I can't even give him money. I guess he's... <laughs> This is what happened in the last video. I wasn't really paying attention to Bill Agachi because I had the sound muted. I wasn't hearing him complaining that he needed money because that's how you essentially keep him alive is by giving him money. 
because yes, that's the pun on Bilogachi, if yeah, it's it's kind of explained in the <laughs> in the other video. But yeah, guys, that, that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever I upload a new video, which I do every single week, multiple times per week on this channel. And as always, guys, I wanna thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.